Hi guys and welcome to the first video I've been able to do outside this year. Yay! It is absolutely gorgeous outside. Um, finally in New York, I think we may have finally hit spring. Um, I was looking at some pictures because I'm getting ready for Beltane. I take off for Beltane every year uh, a couple days depending on like when it falls. So this year it's on Tuesday, I believe, or you know, Monday night into Tuesday. And so I took off uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday this week. So I have a really long weekend. But so in the meantime, I'm trying to get ready for Beltane a little bit. And I so was not in the mood until this weekend finally. Um, the, um, wow, these scissors are horrible. Um, the weather broke and I feel like, okay, I might actually be able to celebrate spring because there's sun. Up until now, we have had snow <laughs> pretty much and cold and, uh, finally, finally this weekend, holy moly, we got, uh, some beautiful sun and the sun is out and it's like 70 degrees. I'm so excited. All right, you know what? I bet you I am opening this up the wrong way. I see tape there. So I am opening, oh yeah, I am. <laughs> I was wondering why it was so hard. Uh, Diane Jarecki, hopefully she doesn't mind me saying this, but I don't think she would because she does videos. Um, and I did uh, a book trade and you know, a couple other little things. I had posted recently um, some stuff that I had available for trade and um she was getting rid of some books and of course you know me and my library i love any um kind of pagan books or tarot books or anything else so oh this is really taped up good <laughs> hopefully i can get into it <laughs> oh i need to sharpen these scissors as soon as I get done with this video, that's the first thing I'm going to do is go sharpen the scissors. These are terrible. Um, so, uh, I thought, what better way to do this than to do it outside with the sun shining for the first time all year. I'm so excited. I just, I can't even tell you. I just really did not feel like getting ready for Beltane at all up until now. Oh, I figured it out. Thank you. Um, of course I had some weird plane all the way up there. Um, and so yesterday was beautiful and today was beautiful and finally I feel like I can huh, get stuff out for the Fae and not feel like they're never going to come out this year because <laughs> I can't get into this. Um, because it was so cold. We literally had snow last week. And then we ended the week with uh, almost 70, and now it's got to be at least 70 out here. In fact, I might take my little whew, jacket off because oh, it's so wonderful. Okay, now, I know you can't see this, but there's this awful little hair right in the middle of my screen, which is terrible. Okay, autofocus back on. We're good. I just cannot tell you. How wonderful it is to be outside again I've been dying and I won't show you my feet because I haven't had a pedicure in a long time but I have bare feet yay finally and my chicks are out in their coop that they are just loving and I could be out here forever just like this I, I would prefer a little bit windier because you know I'm an air person so it's just wonderful though all right so yay i'm so i can't tell you how excited i am for this okay so there's two boxes here the first box the bigger box and this is a good tip to know is uh that if you have books to send it is cheaper for you to send the books separately under media mail normally than it is for you to send everything all together like let's say Diane had a couple things that weren't books to send and I um, which my stuff finally is going out tomorrow I had this huge envelope all waiting and I was telling my husband I couldn't find it and I had to stop on my way home and he's like oh it's in my car 
I don't know why he had my envelope in his car, but anyways, that's neither here nor there. But anyway, so it's cheaper to send it a package of media mail with just the books and stuff in it and then a, a separate package it's cheaper to do it that way than to try to put it all in one box flat rate so let's see tarot your everyday guide by janina renee yay uh it says practical problem solving and advice you know what i didn't do i didn't bring out my glasses so you'll have to excuse me i'm gonna be doing that uh, decisions, decisions. Every day you make choices. Some are big, some are small, but all will affect the course of your future. The good news is that you don't have to do it alone. The tarot can give you advice when you need it most. Reading the tarot for advice requires a different approach than reading for prediction. Tarot, your everyday guide. Oh yeah, that is what this is called. <laughs> Isn't that awful? Oh, awful. Um, presents a new method of tarot interpretation. You'll learn how to use the tarot to help you make an informed decision and determine a course of action for just about any life situation. You can even use advice readings to augment traditional divination. If a divinatory spread shows trouble ahead, consult cards for advice on how to avoid the situation or lessen its impact. Whether you're an experienced tarot reader or have never even shuffled the cards before, this unique and practical book will open the door, new doors of understanding and help you integrate the rich symbolism of tarot into your everyday life. Yay! Oh, that sounds awesome. I'm really psyched. So this has, let's see, not including the, um, you know, sometimes in the back, I actually think that's cool. They have, uh, like, from the same company, the kind of books. It's like a, an advertising almost, that from the same company you can order different kind of books. Uh, and tarot and stuff like that. So not including that, there's 270 pages. Uh, and it is broken up into the individual cards, I think. Reading and interpretation, interpreting tarot cards for advice. So it talks about asking the question, laying out the cards. Interpreting tarot cards for advice. And then it goes into the fool. So it goes into each individual card and how to read each individual card for um, advice. The magician. And it has a good, like, that's the magician. So a good page and a half, page and three quarters uh, for each of the majors, anyways. The emperor. Uh, and then, let's see, the minors. It's all same. It's got about a page and a half for the minors, too. So that's great. Uh, and then swords. And then appendix about the tarot. Um, so this is the same author who did uh, tarot spells. Uh, so I thought this would be a, a great, great book. So, yay, excited. Uh, Heart of the Tarot, an intuitive approach by Amber K. and Azriel Erink. So it says, learn the secrets of intuitive reading. Heart of Tarot presents a unique and powerful way to do tarot readings that doesn't involve memorizing card meanings, using psychic skills, or learning occult lore. Rather, it offers an amazingly accurate but little-known intuitive technique developed by John McClymans called Gestalt Tarot. Once you discover the secrets of this approach, it is easy to learn and master. So that's cool. Um, so it starts off with uh, the tarot through fresh eyes, a brief history of the mystery, mysterious tarot. What is Gestalt tarot? Okay, it's the only thing about being outside. That's why I normally have my hair in a ponytail when I'm outside. Uh, the major arcana, the minor arcana, the Gestalt tarot spreads, and then reading with the Gestalt method. All right, I feel like there's bugs going up my nose, but it's really my hair. <laughs> and then uh, the com 
complete tarot. So, um, very interesting looking book. Oh, that's cool. And it has, you can see that. It has some, um, like space down there so you can write notes. That's great. There are 266 pages uh, without the bibliography at the end there. Yay! I'm just loving this. I'm so psyched. This one I was really excited about because I've had this on my wish list for a while. This is um, Modern, the Modern Witchcraft Book of Tarot, Your Complete Guide to Understanding the Tarot. And that's by Sky Alexander. Uh, and the back says, unlock the secrets of the cards. For years, for hundreds of years, the tarot has been an essential tool used in witchcraft. From divining the future to aiding in spellcasting, now your destiny can be revealed to you with the modern witchcraft book of tarot. As tools to aid a witch's natural cla clairvoyance, the tarot and witchcraft are entwined with the cards and the craft sharing many symbols and roots in the, in the elements. Spellcraft and tarot expert Sky Alexander takes you teaches you how to interpret and connect with the cards. From reading spreads to using your deck during spell casting, you will soon grasp the full power of the tarot. Whether you're curious about your future or would like to strengthen your magic work, you will be fascinated by what the modern witchcraft book of tarot reveals. Woo! I'm really psyched for this, um, this one too, because it's been on my wish list forever. And I have, I'm trying to remember what the other book is that I have from Sky Alexander. I wonder if they list her books. Nope, they don't. Unless it's in the back. Um, oh yeah, The Modern Guide to Witchcraft. I think that's the one I have. Um, but she has a whole bunch. The only tarot book you'll ever need. Nice spells, naughty spells, The Modern Witchcraft Grimoire. Modern Witchcraft Spell Book. Um, this one I just I'm really psyched about. Look at different um, spreads. My brain is skipping. The spiral spread, the horoscope wheel, harmony spread, the significance of a significator. Reading the cards and then it goes through each card which is great. I can add that to my um, weekly tarot study, which I'm sorry, you guys, I did not do this week, um, partly because I've been outside all weekend. I just couldn't wait to get outside. Um, okay, so Wayne Dyer, she had asked me about Wayne Dyer, and I like Wayne Dy Dyer. I've seen him, Dr. Wayne Dyer, I think he is. Doesn't say that there, but I'm pretty sure he's a doctor. Um, he's been on Oprah before, and if you've seen any of my videos before I think I talked about where I went to see Oprah I actually was uh, recorded a segment that was supposed to be on her show and then ended up getting cut but um, I did go get to see her live and um, it actually I was gonna be on because uh, I wrote a letter while this is so funny to me before Dr. Oz had his own show, he was on Oprah a lot. And he w was on there at one point talking about mammography and how about um, patients really need to um, ask questions and understand their own bodies and stuff like that. And so I wrote Dr. Oz actually a letter about that because I do mammography um, and about how wonderful I thought it was that he was telling patients to really get involved in their own care, that the best patients that I have are the ones who ask a lot of questions, who want to know what's going on and how that works and all that kind of stuff. I really like those patients. Sorry, I went off on a tangent. But, um, so they had put me on the show to talk about, you know, how I was in mammography and all that stuff. And so they recorded the whole segment, they invited me, and I took my mother to the show, and um, we, did our little segment and everything and then they cut it out so <laughs> it never got to air but that's okay we I mean we got to meet Oprah so I um, watched a lot of Oprah back in the day I actually think the later episodes were great when she started getting into more spiritual stuff I think that was great and I still sometimes watch like Super Soul Sunday Dr. Wayne Dwyer Dyer is a man who has been on her show a lot 
Um, so this is called, there's a spiritual solution to every problem. And because I am a pagan and a witch and stuff, doesn't mean that I, uh, you know, down anyone else's um, spiritual solutions. And people who uh, are Christian, who are truly Christian, let me put it that way, um, I think have a lot to teach us. I, I have a great respect for a lot of Christians who are really Christian human beings. When I say that, I mean real Christians to me just do not judge everyone else. And that makes a big difference. Ooh, we got lots to go. Oh my goodness, look at this huge book. This is great. The Magic of Crystals, Color and Chakra. <gasps> that reminds me, I have to email uh, a woman back who's been emailing me and I forgot this morning to, uh, I'm emailing you if you're listening, about uh, what crystals to start out with. But anyways, this is uh, by several people here. Uh, Sue Lilly, Simon Lilly, Stella Martin, Stella, no, Stella Mars, uh, Josephine De Winter, and uh, Gil Hale. And it says, A book of healing, harmony, and wisdom for the body, spirit, and home using an inspired combination of subtle natural energies and new age approaches. Practical techniques shown step by step with over 1,000 superb photographs and artworks and more than 100 specially devised product projects and routines. So what an awesome resource to have. I love my crystal books, um, which I think I'm going to get back into now that I am outside ah, more. Oh, this book smells good. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to get back into talking more about crystals. Um, it's so nice when you can, it even talks about food here. Uh, when you can show the crystals outside um, because there's something to be said. I was telling Jennifer Ball today about how beautiful uh, crystals look when you can photograph them in natural light. It's so much different. You catch all kinds of little things. So that's awesome. Uh, Kabbalistic Tarot, uh, Hebraic Wisdom in the Major and Minor Arcana. And this is by David Dovid. David Kraft Chow. Um, so Kabbalistic uh, tarot is something that I'm interested in that I have not really studied very much, um, but that I think is um, a very interesting take on it, and I think it would kind of deepen my readings. So that goes on to the list of to read, which I still have to, I have quite a few on my list. Um, the first of which is Benjamin, er, not Benjamin, it is um, my son and his girlfriend and friends and stuff just got home. Uh, Tom Benjamin, that's, that's first on the list. Bringing the Tarot to Life, Embody the Cards Through Creative Exploration by Scott Martin. Beautiful. Uh, raise the curtain on an exciting new approach to tarot. For many readers, the, the uh, tarot cards, re I so need my glasses, guys, I'm sorry. Tarot cards reveal their deepest wisdom through creative interaction. Bringing the tarot to life shows how we use theater games and acting techniques to gain new insights to the cards. With more than 50 imaginative exercises to be practiced alone or with a group, this book unlocks your intu intuitions and helps you experience the cards from the inside out. This is awesome. I'm so excited. Um, I loved um, being in theater when I was in high school, and it's something, actually, another time. I'll try not to get off on a tangent, because I know, I can't even see how many. Oh yeah, I can, 20 minutes. We're already 20 minutes in, and I'm not even done with this box. Okay, someday I'll tell you about how uh, I was supposed to be an actress. Not supposed to be, but. My wonderful aunt, who drives me crazy now and lives here and all that, um, was supposed to, was going to move with me to New York City to start my acting career and she was going to work as a nurse while I went on auditions. She was great. I mean, she still is great. Um, card, oh, isn't it cute? This is a card 
and candle holder in one. So you, oh my gosh, look at, can you see that? I hope you can see that. That is the cutest thing. Thank you, Diane. I can't wait to put that up. That's so cute. And that is um, perfect for belting. That'll be so cute. All right, and I'm sad to say I did not have a copy of The Secret yet, and I'm sure most of you know what that is. I have the workbook for The Secret, but I had never read the actual secret book. So I had to have that in my library, and I believe that's it for this box. I believe, I believe, I hope. Yes, okay. Yay! So that's the book box. I'm so excited. And then this box, ooh, has plastic peanuts in it. I'll have to just be careful that, because I'm outside, I don't want to get it all. Oh, wait, I know. <laughs> Hold on, use your noggin, Jen. We transfer some of these into here. So then they won't fall all over my lawn and blow away before I can get them. <laughs> so this, I'll have to show you before I'm done. I believe this is uh, a wind catcher. I'm totally, I feel like I'm having a stroke. It's not called a wind catcher. Those are those things that blow around. Wind chimes. I'm telling you, <laughs> I'm really crazy. I think it's the sun. I haven't seen it for so long. I kind of forgot what it is. Um, I put up uh, one that has been inside my house. I put it up out here, and I'll have to show you it before uh, I get off. Oh, this is going to be gorgeous. And this one is copper, which is absolutely spectacular. Pretty. Did you see that? See the little planets on there? And the little planet on the bottom. And oh, they're so gorgeous. So this popped out there, but you just, yep. Pop it back in. How cute is that? So cute. Look at how cute they are. They sound great. Yay! Oh, Diane, this was just wonderful. So I'm so glad. I can't wait to till you get your box after I get my crap together and send it out tomorrow. But I'm so glad we got to be outside, guys. Okay, so I do want to show you. I did bring outside. Ooh, hopefully you can see. Okay. See, now I can't see what you're seeing. Right here. Sorry guys. Okay, see, this is my glass one that has peacock feathers on it. Isn't that pretty? And I have my little one out here. I have a little butterfly one that Peter got me for it. Sorry for the garden. <laughs> and then I have my Beltane. I'm going to put this up here. I have my Beltane ring. Can you see it? Yep, with the um, jingle bells on it and all the ribbons so yay I'm so glad you came outside for my first video outside and thank you Diane I'm so so excited and so happy with our trade and I hope you are too and I can't wait till you get yours blessings guys